Texting, texting, texting. Welcome back, America, to a frigid, wee wet my whistle Wednesday here in the mid sack of Redoubtable One himself, Tom. This is a highly questionable one, argument at you. Segment two, all things NBA. The tournament's still going on, but to this point, it gives a fuck. Boston <laughs> and New York both went down yeah. for different reasons. New York ran into a better team. Boston ran into itself. Um, again. Um, so, as usual. As I said to him, Milwaukee's, they're that team that will beat you by 20 at home because at home, that's how good they are. Doesn't mean New York can't beat them in New York, but Milwaukee, if that team's focused, they're not beating them in Milwaukee. No, no. Well, and in um, a series, they're not beating them. No, they're not better than them. They're not right now. Yeah. They're which, not as which good. Which sucks. As um, but again, this. Um, it's consistent with what I've thought about yeah. them the whole year. Um, <clears throat> they're a second tier team. They cannot. Anytime they run into a team with more talent, it's. Yeah, but there's not a lot of them. There's probably six or seven that are more talented than them, top to yeah, bottom. Yeah, but that feels like a lot. When you when you want them to go See, deep into the but playoffs. this is the thing about you know I think Brunson and Barrett you can build around I think the, the sack you have to trade this guy and you've got to find Julius. a way to get yeah you've got to trade because where you are you're not going to get past those two or three teams there's two teams in the East maybe three you, you know you can't beat um, <clears throat> but I think I think you have to add Miami into that. That Miami's not more talented. I'm not saying they are, but I'm I don't talking, think the Knicks can beat them. I'm talking from a talent perspective. Miami's not going to out-talent you. Yeah. Um, but they need to find a way to use Randall to get better. Now, whether it's now when I say better, I mean they fit better with, with Barrett and Brunson. They do. Because yeah. I don't know that Brunson can change his game. Because I think if Brunson were averaging 10 assists a game, I'm not saying he's not capable of this, but... He's still, to me, a lead guard. He, he shoots a ton. He shoots a ton of shots. And he, if he could average 10 assists per game, I think New York would be a better team. He'd be team. a different player, though. Yeah, but they'd be a better team for it. No doubt. Um, so the thing is, I think you have to trade him because I don't think Brunson is going to do this. I think it's a mental thing, not a, not an not a ability standpoint. I don't think it's his MO. I don't think it's his mental And I think talent. Brunson is the one you have to back long term. You know he is. So you, you know. have to get a guy in there that plays well right. with him, that compliments, compliments him. him. I don't think yeah. Randall compliments him. I think everything they do, they do individually. They don't really play off each other well. They're just kind of both out there trying to give each other enough space. Yeah, get I out saw, of each other's way. I saw something on Twitter um, after we came back from basketball practice, hmm. and it was Kenny, yeah, um, the Jet. Yeah, Kenny the Jet Smith hmm. um, on TNT, and I guess this was after they lost to. The Bucks the other night, okay, or last night, um, yeah. saying <clears throat> the Knicks have a problem because every time they play, they always have the second best player on the court at best. Because mm-hmm. he was like, when they go to play Boston, they're probably the third best player. Yeah, on Brown the court. and Katie <laughs> yeah. are better than anything. And now. you know, yeah. when they go to play Philly, they don't have the best. Well, player. Milwaukee, it's Giannis and it's, Giannis. it's Lillard. He said when they go yeah. to Miami, Jimmy Butler is the best player on the floor. Yeah, I don't think Miami's second best player that was better than their second. No. That's what I'm saying. Butler's better. Right, right. but he but, said they never have a time where when they're playing one of these like playoff yeah. teams, they have the best. He said even Cleveland, because Donovan Mitchell's better, which singularly he, he might it's be. Close. But, it's close. But, I mean, close. Brunson outplayed him in the playoffs He last did. Year. Brunson, I think, has better players around him in terms of those. He's got two guys that – Barrett and, and, and Barrett's a budding all-star. He really is. He's a, he's an all star caliber player. Yeah, and so is Randall. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but that, I mean, Cleveland I don't know that talent. I don't know. I'm not saying Cleveland Donovan doesn't Mitchell have doesn't pass. I'm not saying I'm not saying that they don't have talent. I'm just saying I think New York has more talent than them. Maybe it's close, but I think they have more. But, New York has a, be- a better bench. Yeah, they and do. then he said this, um, and this is where I heard Nick fans bitching, but I d- I haven't seen him enough to know. He said, um, "Is it Pablo or Paolo Bancaro?" Paolo Banchero, Banchero, yeah, in Orlando. He said he's Paolo. better. He said he's better than anybody the Knicks have. He is. And That's everybody true. on Twitter was like, Brunson's he won, better. He won Rookie of the Year last year. He's. An, he, I've seen him against Boston with Tatum and Brown. He what are his numbers? He's twenty and twenty. He's twenty and eight, I think, and like six assists. He's a the kid's the kid's twenty years old. Wow. He's twenty years old. Okay. He's six ten, legit six ten. Look at this. And he handles the ball. He can play five positions. He can play five positions. He also said Pacers, same thing with, with Halliburton. Halliburton is a stunt. <laughs> Halliburton is a stunt. He is he is he is in the running for the best point guard in the league this year. He's in the running. I what still would you give, say about the I still Hawks? give Murray an edge, mm. um, but I think he's right there with Trey Young. I think it's those three: Murray, him, and uh, for Denver rather, and Trey, and then Steph Curry's in there also. 
Um, so there are those are the four. What do you think about Atlanta though? They don't have enough. Never no, but I mean, in terms of, do the Knicks have the best player when they face Atlanta? Or yeah, is Randall. Tra- or is Trey? I think Atlanta? Randall. You think Randall's the Knicks' best player, or Brunson? Well, and Randall's been a two-time All NBA player. Brunson is not. I know, but now who Brunson do you think right now might be the best. Currently, player. is the best player on the team right now. I think it is Brunson. Okay, so is Brunson better than Trey Young? It's close. I give Trey Young. It's pretty close. Edge. I think right? Trey Young a slight edge. Slight edge. It's very close. Mm. Um, I think I like Brunson better, but you're, I think well, you're right. I don't think Trey Young has right. Randall and Barrett on the outside. He has. He doesn't have guys like that. It's really him and Capella because yeah. Capella, Capella play, protects the rim. But they don't have what the Knicks have on the outside. Fuck, who else is in the um, East? Brooklyn. Um, they have the best player when they're playing Brooklyn, right? Mm-hmm. Where, no, Mikael Bridges might be. No, right? Br- Brunson, I think, is better. Brunson's than better than Mikael Bridges? I think he is. Yeah. Okay. I think he stands out more than Brunson because he doesn't have – Brunson has Barrett and – yeah. So I think he stands out more. He doesn't have two guys like that. Mm-hmm. So no, I think the Knicks are more talented than them, and it doesn't. You can if you. Well, we're not talking about total talent. We're talking about the best player on the floor. That's it. I don't. You don't have to have the best player on the floor to beat those teams. You no, do. No. You, you do if it's Boston or Milwaukee right. or Philly, because right. yeah. those you know Tatum, uh, Giannis, and, and Embiid. Yeah, you don't have a no, guy like he, that. He was saying, I'm not saying they couldn't play better than another team. No. He's just saying like from the jump. They have that disadvantage in the talent. I think Trey Young is better, but I think they're far better than than, than the Yeah, I agree with that. The Hawks. I think what's his name is slightly better. Well, him and Brunson are kind of even the dude in, in Brooklyn, but he doesn't have the, he didn't have those two. On yeah, they're better side. than the Nets. They're better than the Nets. Um, I think they're better than the Cavs. They're better than the Pacers. Pacers after Halliburton it drops. Here's the thing about the about the Pacers. Okay, I'm biased from what I saw the other the, night. The the Celtics played. Right into their hands. Yeah. This is why I, I I get mad. And let me. And by the way, Pistons um, going for a win. And and by the way, um, they're losing. Oh, um, geez, they were up. Um, by the way, um, for the people that are getting mad at the at the people that are criticizing the Celtics, you're not listening to what they're talking about. Okay, and, and but the Celtics have lost five games this year to five opponents that none of them were as talented. None of them. Okay. And they they got outplayed. They outplayed by inferior talent. When that happens consistently, there's a problem. It's called it's called playing down to your competition. That is a problem. Okay. It's a bugaboo. Their style of play. The, the, the Indiana Pacers average 128 points a game. They give up 125. <clears throat> the Boston Celtics, with two of the top 10 players in the league last year, both average. They won 12. And the reason is, and we've said this before, but again, the magic number is 30. They want to be at 30 to 32 three-pointers max. They shot 41 threes. Yikes. They want to be 20 to 30 free throws. They shot 12 free throws. Okay? They lost by 10. The difference at the foul line alone was nine points. They scored nine more points in the foul line than the Celtics did. And then there was the 17 turnovers. Talk about stupid mm. fucking turnovers. This team looks like the team I'm coaching on Monday and Wednesday nights. <laughs> That's not true. With the way they, I'm not talking about the way they move. I'm talking about their lack of awareness. <laughs> their utter lack of awareness. Like tonight, we're watching, and there are kids wide open, <laughs> and the, uh, the kid with the ball is, puts it down and dribbles it. This is the Boston Celtics. His name is Jalen Brown. His name J- is Jalen Brown, the last two games, has 43 field goal attempts and no assists. Really? In the last two games. I'm not making this up. Yikes. The difference is what I'm seeing tonight, they're nine. He's 26. <laughs> <laughs> they, he just got paid $304 million. I literally, he makes the same mistakes that the nine-year-olds I coach make, but he's just such a great athlete and he gets away with it a lot. Speaking, He's a work class speaking of which, my son uh, made his first, first basket, basket tonight in an actual yeah, in a scrimmage, game scrimmage. Yeah, he did tonight. That, that was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. And again, because a kid had his head up <laughs> and just threw a <laughs> fucking pass. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's all. It, 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 if the Celtics did that right there, that one fucking thing, <laughs> okay, they wouldn't have 17 fucking turn. How do you have 17 turnovers against a team that doesn't play defense? How do you do that? Yeah. That's the. I mean, this is the thing, and that's why people are on them so much. And I'm saying right now, they they played. If you're if you're playing a team that you know doesn't want to play defense, do you know what you do? 
You make them play defense. <laughs> okay, you don't take the first fucking shot that shows and bail them out. You get a five, six ball rotation because while they're playing defense, do you know what they're not doing? They're not playing offense, number one. <laughs> and number two, defense takes effort. They're getting tired legs. Right. So in the fourth quarter, when they were jacking up all those shots and were swish, 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 they can't do that anymore because their legs are gassed because you fucking made them play defense. Yeah. But you no, got them rotating and Yeah, rotating in your pedigree. But no, you take 41 fucking threes. Mm. And 12 free throws. And you wonder why they put up 125 on you. That's called stupid, America. That's called stupid. And can we can we go back to the team from tonight, though? We should go back to the team from tonight. Because, I mean, the Celtics, maybe if they hear these stories of the, the local... The nine-year-olds the, the, that are just learning yeah, how to the play. the locals <laughs> who are... So RJ, RJ's basically running the practice. And I love it because you kind of, like... You, I like the way you talk to John and Anthony sometimes, <laughs> like because you'll tell them, you'll be like, "Yeah, shoot it, good, nice," mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and I and I appreciate that. I also liked the fucking defensive sliding drill tonight. Oh. Seeing those kids do that, mm-hmm. I know they were bumbling fools for a minute. Yeah, but they figured but it out. They got it. They got it by the end. And they were actually pretty fucking. Yeah. They were, you know. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I enjoy watching you teach the kids. It's very um, fun. Well, they're, they're great kids. Um, most kids are. Um, so, yeah. But the thing is, when you see a team as talented at, and at the NBA as level, the local nines at, the, at the NBA becomes. level that makes mistakes that nine-year-olds make, yeah. that's concerning. Now, you wouldn't know that because you don't know anything about basketball. I hate these fans. They're 15 and 5. Why can't you just enjoy the ride? They're not going to go 82 and 0. No fucking shit show. No one said they should. If the Celtics had good shot selection and have a bad shooting night, I can live with that. That's not going to bother me. I didn't go in that night. But you, you took good shots. You moved the ball. You, you had good opportunities. They didn't. Sometimes the ball didn't go in. That's not what's happening here. They're taking the first fucking shot that shows. And they, and they, and they, think, they think, you look at the past 12 NBA champions. Past 12 years, okay? The only team that won doing this style is the Golden State Warriors. There's no other team that wins playing this style of play. The Celtics have left three championships on the table because they keep trying to play this style of play. What's your name? Okay? They're not the Golden State Warriors. They're not the Splash Brothers. They're not Steph Curry. They're not Klay Thompson in his prime. Hell, they're not even the other guy they had out there who was a pretty damn good shooter, this pool kid, whatever he was, before they uh, Draymond knocked him out. The thing is, I'd rather have them than any of them if they just played to their own talents. I'm saying the Celtics are Mm. more talented, Mm -hmm. but they don't play to their strengths. They take the easy way out. They get lazy. They only show up when they feel threatened. And that's why they lose teams to games to inferior talent. They lost three games to Orlando last year, who was awful. How the fuck does a team with this talent lose three games to Orlando last year? They stunk. Now okay. Orlando's all right. And then, and then yeah, this year they are. But the thing is, they've had a year under their belt. They're better now. But the thing mm-hmm. is, the Celtics are still better than they lost to them by 17. They were up eight at the half, and they got boat raced in the second half because they played this stupid style of play. Okay. They're losing because of the way they play, not because of their talent. They play stupid basketball. They play the game backwards. The, high per, the highest percentage shot in this game will always be the three-foot layup or the dunk if you're in the NBA. They pass up probably 10 or 12 of a game to shoot the lowest percentage shot in the game. That is monumentally stupid. If you gave me Larry Bird and Ray Allen and Reggie Miller and Steph Curry all out there on the fight, I wouldn't fucking play that style of play. <laughs> I'd still take the fucking layup because at their best, it's a 45% shot. That is 100%. The dunk is 100%. Yeah, it should be. Okay? In the NBA level, it should be. Should Chris Dudley. Okay? He's not, I didn't mention him. No. Okay? <laughs> the bottom line is, or the layup. Or the, or the layup. Or the layup. I'm saying that you, 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 you're you not going to win that stock consistently. Golden State is the one-off. You're not going to see a team do that again. Well, tonight, VCU passed up the three, tied the end of regulation, missed a layup. That's embarrassing. I you mean, should never miss a he fucking got, He got to the hole. If you're now, a Division I contested fucking, if layup. If you're, if you're a high school, varsity high school player, you, you should never miss a play. And, and, and you should never miss a breakaway, breakaway layup. Was it a breakaway layup? No, it wasn't a breakaway. But it was, a, it, was it, a, was in a, it was in a half-court set. Uh-huh. But he came free. He over pursued, yeah. and he got by. He got free. Now, he was, they were on his hip. Yeah. But, like, he was stretched He was clean. They couldn't get to his arm. He was clean. But because he was out like this, his angle went off. He took a bad angle. And he pushed it. And one of the things we're teaching these nine-year-olds is about the 45-degree angle and how to, yeah. to, so you can use the corner of the backboard. That's probably what happened tonight. 
Yeah. He didn't well, take he was a good going angle. straight on, yeah. which that's which harder a tough angle. because you got well. You can still spin it and get it to that on either yeah. side. You yeah. can, or you can go right over the front and just drop it in, or dunk it, or whatever. Yeah. If you can get clean, but the thing is, that's still the highest percentage shot in the yeah, game. Yeah, no, you, you'd rather go out like that. Because because yeah. on their worst day, these these same guys I'm talking about in close, they're ninety percent. Yeah. They're going to be 90% in there mm-hmm. because they're going to get fouled, too, and they're going to make... By the way, they're going to get free throw, and they're still going to get three fucking points. Yeah. And But you know what they're also going to do? They're also going to get that team in foul trouble. So they're going to do, they're going to do multiple things. You shoot threes, if you're off, it's over. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else you can do. Yeah. And if that's all you're going to keep doing when you keep missing, that's fucking stupid. Okay, so that's why I get mad at the Celtics. That's why anybody who knows basketball gets mad at the Celtics because it's the wrong way to play basketball. <laughs> They've left three championships on the table with this style of play, and they're still not learning. That's why we keep complaining. I had to say this to Joel. The, Joel's name keeps coming up tonight. We're going to get back to Joel in a second. Now. But, <laughs> God, but Joel, Joel sat there and said to me, they, they do this, they're, they're 44% in the regular season. I'm like, Joel, does all 30 teams make the NBA playoffs? No, Joel, that's bottom feeding. When they get in against the, the top eight or four, they can't beat those teams playing that style. They can beat the Clevelands, and they can beat the Brooklyns, and they can beat they, they're not going to beat Milwaukee. They're not going to beat Miami. They're not going to beat Denver. And they're not going to beat those teams playing this style. They couldn't beat Golden State yeah. doing it. Well, they, they, <laughs> they could lose to Philly doing it. They could lose to anybody yeah. doing it. That's my point. Those series, there's no way the fucking Hawks should have taken them six games last year in the first round. Yeah, that's that a sweep. Well, that, I remember when you said, like, there's if they no didn't fun. sweep them, that's where you would have. I said, that's before the, the playoffs yeah. start, I told him this. On the yeah. air. If they don't sweep these guys, there's a problem. There's a problem, yeah. They haven't figured it out. They haven't figured it out. And they still haven't figured it out. And we're 20 games into the next season. Anyway, we're going to close tonight with an early edition of Two Cents with Tommy. And I don't think this is going to be Two Cents. <laughs> Actually, there's I several. Just, I, I have just, several cents tonight. It's um, um, no. So I want to. Now we already kind of got into the whole Dom. We situation. really didn't get into it though. Um, we really didn't get into it. <laughs> okay, but uh, by now everybody has seen what happened in the Eagles Niners game, where Greenlaw kind of threw down Devonte Smith, and it. To, all right, it wasn't even that bad. And the Eagles sideline got all happy. There's two teams that don't like each other. Right. But that wasn't so, the worst that So ever then Greenlaw and some 49ers uh, or some Eagles players on the sideline were yapping. Uh, and this fucking big guy who's built like me. Well, he might have been built a little better than me. He he's comes bigger up, than you. He comes up. Yeah, he's a he's big guy. Big dude. And he puts both his hands on Greenlaw's chest and kind of goes... Greenlaw puts his finger in his face. They toss both of them. They toss both of them. Which, how does that help Which hurt Philly again? Which is horseshit. How does that hurt Philly again? The, the, I mean, here's what pisses me off is that they did that under video review. Uh, so at first it was just, oh, uh, we threw the flag because it was unnecessary roughness on Greenlaw. Yeah. Because the flag was there, they were allowed to go to the video and see the fracas afterwards. Mm-hmm. And after seeing that, they threw out a football player. No fucking way. No fucking way. This there's guy a, came on the field. There's a guy who's not in uniform. Yeah, he's a security guy. Who who he's lays his t- hands on his chest, and all the guy did, all the football player did, was don't was touch point in his yeah, face and said, "Don't, don't fucking touch don't me." Don't touch me. And, and you talking. threw him out. Threw him out. One, maybe their best player. That's just awful. It was. If the Niners weren't so much better than them, <laughs> right? It would have mattered. That could have been a game changer. That would have hurt. Uh, here's the thing. And this is where, if I'm Philly, I'm really scared because that would have fucked up most teams. Yeah. The Niners didn't even right. flinch. And yeah. that tells, you're in trouble. If you yeah. see that team, you can't beat that team. <laughs> you can't. If that team is healthy, you're not, right. I don't care what field you play on, you're not beating them. No, because because mm-hmm. even if you figure out a way to score, you you have no chance of you stopping them. Stop them. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. So. I don't know if there's a defense. Uh, Cleveland is the one that really. Cleveland's the one that it, did, that, it. That did it. One, yeah. to one defense did it. Philly's but defense I think ain't they might have been. No. F- actually, Cleveland knocked Debo they knocked, out. That's right? early in the Wasn't game. Yeah, yeah, the first quarter he knocked. Yeah, that, that's how they did it. They, man, locked, they knocked Cleveland Debo out. Cleveland hits. Yeah, they hit. They're, they're they old school. Hit. Cleveland's old school. <laughs> yeah, they're and they got school. what's his face up front? Yeah. Uh, Miles Garrett. That, he's a beast. He's honestly he should be a league, a league MVP candidate. He's a cartoon. He player. he's a game changer. Yeah. He's a, and he's just like you can't talk about Micah Parsons like that. Now he's better than Micah Parsons right now. This right dude's now. playing better than Micah Parsons is. He's I haven't player. heard Micah's name a lot. No, because Dallas is everybody's talking about Dak because they're they're running the score up on people. Mm, that's true. But again, it's a bunch of ham and eggers. Um, Seattle's the most quality team they play. They they couldn't stop Seattle. They didn't. They lost that game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, there was a couple points in that game when I was like, "Is Dallas going I've, to lose?" Yeah. This everybody game? had Dallas beating them by two or three touchdowns. Oh yeah. 
Somebody forgot to tell Seattle that. Because yeah. <laughs> Seattle went in there and hung and damn near beat them. And I, I and thought Dallas would have handled them better than they did. I thought they would have too, but that tells you. Yeah. They, they were, they were bottom feeding. Yeah. So I don't know. Cause they knew Seattle ain't the team they got to get over. <laughs> but, so, so what do you think about this? Dallas Philly matchup coming up now. I mean, I think Dallas has a shot. At Dallas it. wins this game on Sunday. We'll talk about it more on Friday night. But because they they, they were a yard away from beating them last time. Philly got exposed the other night. And there <laughs> are, there are offenses though not as talented as the Niners, but there are offense that can do to them what the Niners did. Almost. Right. Not on that level, I don't no. think, but close. Close but, enough. But, close enough to beat them. <laughs> right. Well, you look um, at you look at Dallas's levels. They've got CD. Yep. <laughs> who's better than Ayuk? But not as good as Debo. Not as good as Debo. Then they have this tight end. Ferguson's good, but not as good as Kittle's. No, no. But and then they have Tony oh. Pollard, who's not as good as McCaffrey. McCaffrey. But again, it's like a shell. I'm it's like the same close. shell. They're close. Yeah. But that's the problem. You have to have guys that can match up with them yeah. for talent. The problem is Philly has two or three guys like that. They don't got five. Who's got five? Yeah. Maybe Miami. From a speed, my, maybe Miami has five guys that run four three in their starting. Five. Oh, when they bring in the two running backs? Yeah, they've got five guys on the field. They run 4-3. And, and the Waddle runs and four Chia? Two. Yeah. Oh, my God. That five guys run 4-3. That's never You've never seen a team That's that crazy. fast. They're faster than the greatest show on, show on turf, who had three guys like that. These guys have five because they used the running back. Um, but <laughs> Miami, can pull, Miami can put up that kind of firepower. Miami's defense ain't San Fran's, though. No. It's not even close. So, so um, that would be a fun game to watch. Baltimore and San Fran is going to be the Super Bowl. You think so? Yeah, I do. Because I think it's going to go through Baltimore. And I don't think Mahomes. I don't think Mahomes can 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 win in Baltimore without without kit weapons. Kelsey won't be enough. He won't be enough. If they couldn't win in Green Bay, they're not winning in Baltimore. And I pick Green Bay to win that game. Yeah, no, that was a great pick. Um, and you thought I was nuts. I know. I was. T- I was like, you're being and, cute. You're being uh, cute. I wasn't being cute. You were right. I was looking at that offense and this this damn. I'll tell you right now, Green Bay may get in the playoffs as a wild card. Yeah, they could. They could. This kid's this kid's coming. And they've got what we were saying. We couldn't figure out why they weren't better because they had the weapons. But this kid in the last three weeks is starting to figure well, it out. Well, they <sighs> remember, they started the season good. Then I think they just hit a lull, you know, because it's, it's Love's first season. Yeah. So maybe maybe defense has figured out something on him, and now they're kind He's of – He's adjusted. Yeah. They, they've adjusted. They've adjusted. They've adjusted. Back. Yeah. Um, so, but in any event, back to this – Two big wins for them. Back to this, this fucking security guard, who America's favorite yes. security guard. Yeah, I mean, Dom people talking DeLuise. about him like yeah, they had him for Thanksgiving. Like he's Dom DeLuise. Yeah, like he, they all had him over for Thanksgiving. Like, they, give me a fucking break. Fucking Dom? He jo- messed with Dom? Joe literally texted heard. me. He's he hit fans. Dom in the face. Yeah, like like <laughs> Dom is coming over for Christmas. Like, Dom and I were just having better Here, match. Here's what I don't like. Oh, my God. Is, okay, this is this is something about Philly fans that Dom. And on some points I, I respect – but on other other times, I'm just like, come on! Like, sometimes you just have to admit when something's wrong. Yeah, I know it's your team that but you're not like n- unloyal or disloyal because of this. But the guy is not on your team. He put his hands on a professional on a player while that player was in a game. In a game on the field, he's on the field, engaged with another player. Yeah. Like that that guy should never be on the There's sideline no again. No way he should be. He should never be on the sideline again. No, yeah, you don't. And you're telling me he was doing his job? That's what Pat McAfee said. Dom Dom's doing his job. You know, I've seen That's not his several job. team skirmishes over the years. It's usually the coaches and the training staff, and they're the ones in there breaking the it assistant off. Coaches. There's never some yeah. security guard never. in there. Hey! There's never that. Never. This was a first. I've never seen this yeah. before. So that's a load of shit. And the shit. fact that they went to the video and tossed Greenlaw that's was horse shit. The league should be embarrassed. Complete horse shit. That's embarrassing. Because Dom. Dom. Dom, 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 Dom was hanging out with Roger Goodell. We can't. Well, if we're gonna, if they're going to toss Dom, we've got to toss this guy. <laughs> they acted like Dom was more important. Like, give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, so a yeah. couple random thoughts here mm. to tack on. Um, Dom. I heard somebody say mozzarella the other day. Mozzarella. Okay. So, or who? For the cheese. Referring to the cheese. Mozzarella? <laughs> they said mozzarella. Okay. This is a real person. This is, yeah. Well, I think I heard it like on Instagram. Like somebody was talking about cheese and they said mozzarella. No. So, <laughs> I wanted to bring it up because you cannot pronounce the word like that. Okay. Uh-uh. So, so <laughs> some Italians will get on you if you say mozza, you know, mozzarella. Mm hmm. Be, oh, it's mozzarella. <laughs> you know, yeah, you got to have it. <laughs> you know, now. I, Even if you're not from the old country, you've got to have So I say Mootsie. I just say Mootsie. Mootsie is a popular you know, one. Mootsie's yeah. one. Mootsie's one. Um, but 
You can't say mozzarella. The funny part is my my dad's sister. Whenever she does it, she always does this too. <laughs> get the mozzarella! Oh my get fucking the god! Like she's dead serious. Get the mozzarella! Too. Every time it happens, Christmas. Yeah. Do you get the mozzarella? Like what the what? <laughs> Put the hand down. Like it's just what? Like, That's the Italian. I know, man. but she's not from Italy. She was born here. Right, but she can't help. I know. It. It's it was in her, her blood. It was her it's in her blood. I know. It's so funny though. No, but I just it's I just so wanted to do public service announcement. You cannot pronounce it mozzarella. It's that's mozzarella. Offensive. That's offensive. Mozzarella. Italians, I think, in general, get offended when they hear something like that. Mozzarella. Yeah, that that offends most Italians. <laughs> okay. You, you must not be Italian. Now, if you are Italian, it's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the other one is <laughs> Parmesan. <laughs> oh, when what? somebody says Parmesan with a. With the it's Z. Yes. It's not a Z. That pisses me off. It's, it's Parmesan. It's Parmesan. Everybody knows it's Who Parme says Parmesan? Some people say Parmesan. <laughs> See, now this, this is the art. I'm gonna, to be fair, this is the first time he said something that actually, this would irk me. These two things irk me. Now, to be fair, I am Italian. My father's, this would, this would irk me, okay? <laughs> It probably wouldn't work a lot of people, but it will work in Italian. If but you're like Italian, Parmesan? Then you're, then you're, yeah. Like, who says that? No one, no one I know says that. Parmesan. I mean, if they, and if they did, they'd be kidding. They'd be using it like it'd be a joke. <laughs> like, they didn't mean it. Please pass yeah. the Parmesan. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, they get that Parmesan yeah. shit over here. Like, and, what, and look, and here's the thing. Like, <laughs> I don't need people to pronounce it the Italian way. Like, the same just way. Just pronounce it the right just, way. Just pronounce it the way. You don't got to put the, the right hands way. up and do that. You don't have to be from Italy. No. Because that's that's another thing to talk about. Yeah. Like Jada De Laurentiis, uh, okay, she is a famous chef uh -huh. on the Food Network. You know, she's big time. Big time. Um, I've heard of her. And I, I don't know if she's Greek and grew up in Italy you or know, if she's the, Italian because De Laurentiis, I think, is Greek. I thought it was Greek. Um, I don't again. But I she lived in Italy, so yeah. either she's part Italian or she grew up in Italy. Well, she could have family there, but if she, you know, that's not too far. It's close but by. She so, but she's American. Like yeah. she speaks yeah. English she's like an American. Like an American. Okay, but when she says an Italian word, <laughs> you would think she was the fucking. <laughs> All of a sudden, yeah, I mean, she, she was living accent. at the Vatican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, she's like, so you take your pot and then you put the spaghetti in. Spaghetti? Nobody. I, Italians don't say. Italians don't call she spaghetti. She really said it like spaghetti. that? Spaghetti. We put the spaghetti. <laughs> no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the spaghetti. Yeah, you know, and she'll be like. Um, Does she really say it? I like, swear to God, you oh can look it God. up. Like Jada, Jada speaks Italian, and, and everybody <laughs> makes fun Italian. of her for it because it's like every time she gets, and it's, and it's like nobody says spaghetti. Not not even in Italy. I don't give a fuck. They don't even say it. They probably say spaghetti. Yeah, me yeah. But yeah. spaghetti, Sp or, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm going to have a little lasagna. And it's like, oh, God, if someone ever said that, it was my <laughs> shit. Or she'll say, lasagna. Now, it's now, lasagna. Hey, now, you want to finish off the dish with a little parmigiano reggiano. <laughs> <It's> like, oh, <laughs> okay, we're getting done, Cleo. <laughs> now you finish with a little... Hometown Cleveland, Ohio. Parmigiano Reggiano. Hometown Cleveland, Ohio. Parmigiano. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, now, you take your mozzarella. <laughs> mm. Oh, Scranton, PA. Yes. Hail from Scranton, PA. Yes. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to eat my penne pasta. Don't tell me she said that. Please don't <laughs> tell me she no. said that. <laughs> Don't tell me you're kidding. Tell I, me right I, now you're I kidding. I just made it up. But thank God. Whenever she says my, something like that, if she said that, I would have lost my whenever shit. Whenever she said that's like, one of those where you call into the show and, and go, look, like, and this needs to get on the air. I need to talk to this. But she, but she tries to speak it so properly. Like she's like, now take your ricotta cheese. Ricotta. <laughs> Like, all right. It's either ricotta or it's regat. It's not oh ricotta. <laughs> <laughs> oh somewhere, some far, some you know. In, you know the worst part about somebody's gonna watch this in Italy. The next Shut time, up, you idiot. That's how you say. You know what's what's awful about this is what? the next time we go out on like a double date or something with the girls with the wives, we're gonna get into a restaurant. We're gonna start fucking doing this. <laughs> Can it's, I gonna, spaghetti. it's gonna drive our wives. Can I please have the spaghetti? It's gonna drive our wives fucking insane. Uh, Why are you saying it like that? That's how you say mm, it. Can I have a little bit of that 
pizza. <laughs> Get him a slice of pizza. <laughs> That is terrible. But you know, like a lot of people do that. See, we're goofballs. So that's not we'll do just to fucking just but to it, get a cheap. But it's laugh, funny because I've always felt like um, that about, and I and I feel like all ethnicities actually do that. Um, I'm sure they're yeah. Like I mean, you, you know, I've heard Hispanic but, people do that where they yeah. they speak English. You know, they're American, yeah. but when they say a Spanish word... Oh, they really... They, they lay it on. It's, you know... They lay it on thick. Familia! It's like, it's like gravy. It's like they lay it Familia. on. Familia! <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just... It's like... Yeah. Everything's <laughs> English and it's... Let me familia! Yes. <laughs> it's like, wow. So Italians do this. I guess, is it a way to, like... Are you trying to, like, honor your heritage? My aunt... I mean, I guess it is the language. My yeah. aunt does this with... You know what's funny? My aunt does this. With what? With the Raziti. With the Raziti? She goes, Raziti. What the fuck is Raziti? Not Raziti. What the fuck is something? Ziti? Ziti. Big Ziti? Ziti. She goes, the Ziti. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, she does. She has done this. And I remember it. And I remember looking at her going, what the? Is that? Were you joking when you said that? What, you don't want some ZD? Johnny Miller has to be like, no, like, take your rigatoni. And then instead of, she always, you know, her son name is John, but it's Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Giovanni. The dad's calling him John. The dad, okay, it's jo- Giovanni. The brother calls him John. The sister calls him John. The, 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 you know, the nieces and nephews, everybody calls him John, but his mother, Giovanni. It's Giovanni. Yeah, it's like, I'm fucking believable. It's uh, like, I'm I trying to find, me. I'm trying to find her. It's too funny. Just like, take the spaghetti. <laughs> now, I don't need to hear this right now. Take the spaghetti. The sp- oh, my God. The mozzarella. The- <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, so he, I knew he was going to find you. People have been asking me, what is Jazzy? Jazzy's been sort of a, a passion. Oh, dear God. Sorry. That don't, I'm sorry. Don't, don't do this. We're stopping this segment right now. Why? This is great. Because <laughs> this is fucking gold. This is gold. This is air. <laughs> this is gold. We're talking this, about this, this Dom the Dick out down there in Philly. Um, oh, that's right. Dom and now we're on this. Sorry, how did we get to I don't that? know. You somehow, you do oh, this. Oh, I went from, I, I said, I was talking about mozzarella. Yeah. It was, mozzarella. It was, it was, a, it was a random thought. Yeah. You actually said that. I'm sorry. It was he actually he did coin this. It was a random thought. It wasn't like he just wandered no. off on this. No, 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 no. It came from Mozzarella. Yeah, it came from Mozzarella. And then it's talking about how Jada does the whole By the way, no only when he when he does this, it drives me up a wall. He's actually this one, these two make sense. These ones make sense. That would and drive again, me crazy. And again, I'm not trying and to say I walk around angry about this shit. <laughs> it's just something funny I was thinking about. I'm like, God, I fucking hate when somebody says that, you know? Oh, um, mozzarella. Come mozzarella. on. No, that's not. No, I get it's, it. It's like when somebody says, like, hey, could you make me a quesadilla? And they're not joking. A quesadilla? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't care if you're not. Like, like that's the thing. Like, even a if you're not Spanish, you know that's a quesadilla. A quesadilla? So if you're pronouncing it quesadilla, and it's not a joke. That's that's annoying. And you are a dumbass. Right. You are a like fine another, place. Would you like another dill, you dumbass? Right. <laughs> you know. I bought another dill for the dumbass. Well, like if somebody ordered a pizza. <laughs> Let me get a pizza. Yeah, you can get the fuck out of here. We're not selling you a we pizza. We don't make pizzas. Don't I'm going to piss on you. Keep that up. I mean, it's just Although, I mean, I guess that's how you say my last name, Izzo. Izzo. But that's... That's how it's supposed to be said. Not in Italian. How's it say in Italian? Itzo. Itzo. It's like pizza. Itzo. So Jada would seem and say, Tommaso Itzo. <laughs> Ciao, bella. Mangia, mangia. Mangia the spaghetti. <laughs> you want sauce with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh, not boy. sauce. It's, um, fuck, what are they? Marinara. 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 <laughs> Would you like some mayonnaise? mayonnaise? Yeah, I'd love some sauce. <laughs> Yo, but the funny thing the funny thing is like the the, the, the Northeast dialect. The oh Northeast dialect. God, so terrible. when you pronounce an Italian word, so like ricotta, which is R I C C yeah. the C's turn into G's. Yeah. And you cut the word. So you don't say regatta, you say rigot. <laughs> so you turn the C's into a G. And you chop the word off. This has got my aunt written all over it. 
I'll bet she says more than shit. A little rigot. Because again, that a lot some of those dishes aren't there when they're at Christmas time. But like with with my with, with my cousin John Giovanni. <laughs> Yo, it doesn't say Giovanni on the fucking license, John. Hey, He's Giovanni. Like, Giovanni. No, I'm like, so, why do you okay, do that? Everyone so, calls him John. So here's another thing about so the funny. Northeast kind of dialect from so from funny. not you know Naples a little bit. Um, so calamari. Okay, the I becomes a D. And the, the C at the beginning is also turns into a G. So instead of calamari, it's mm-hmm. galamad. <laughs> galamad. <laughs> <coughs> if someone said that to me, like, what the fuck are you talking about? You've never heard somebody say, hey, did you get the galamad? No. That's calamari. Thank, thank God. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I have a follow-up question. I have a follow-up question. <laughs> Well, it's like it's like you know you know what you, you know about? what capicola is yeah the 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 cold cuts yeah the, the meat yeah um, so capicola turns into gabagool that I've heard that's gabagool that I've gabagool heard. is yeah. actually that I've actually capicola heard. yeah that I've heard um, and I'm I'm aware of that one. yeah the other one I've never heard galamad I've never for heard calamari that. yeah which is strange well. Because, like, the C's in Ricotta turned out... No, I, you know what's funny? No, and even... And, and the North End is is famous for its Italian restaurants. Um, they say calamari. I've never heard... And we order calamari. They say calamari. I'm, well, I mean, at a restaurant, they're not going to say calamari. Yeah, they might say it in the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of the I mean, if there's a bunch of guineas yeah. back there cooking. Yeah, it doesn't say ga- that on the... doesn't say it on the menu. <laughs> so no, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just, like... But my family, like my Uncle John, was like, oh, we'll make the galamad. Yeah, we'll make the galamad. <laughs> we're like, what? Oh, calamari. Oh, great. Make that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pee. I'm going to freeze anyway, to death. that's going to do it for segment two. We'll see you guys Friday night. We'll have our pick segment tomorrow. We both got the Steelers. Yes. I don't think they're going to break 30 combined. Mitch. Uh, Mitch versus Z- Zappy. Wow. Bailey Mitch. Talk about an undercard. <laughs> Trubisky is he, v. Zappy. Is calling it an undercard an insult to undercards? Maybe. I think it is. Tonight's exhibition. <laughs> Tonight's uh, Zappy Trubisky. This this is more like round one. They find two drunks in a bar and they get them in the ring like a tough man contest. These two guys. Yeah, we, said, we said we weren't going to go for an hour. Thirty-seven okay. fucking minutes. Not an hour. <laughs> Not even forty. We'll see you in 48 Hours, America. Uh, the Giggle Smoke Guarantee, two cents with Tommy. It's all on the table Friday night of Freestyle Friday. Enjoy the next two days. Get to the weekend. We will see you on the other side. The Redoubtable and the Highly Questionable One. Peace. Dude, I Peace. Holy shit.